This one. Ooh, I've got some words to say about this one. Because what a mess. Tales of Wedding Rings strikes me with an intriguing premise and a slightly refreshingly different take on Isekai. Haruto Sato is a young man in love with his childhood friend Hime, and Hime happens to hail from another world, and part of her promise to Sato, who discovers this fact upon her setting foot in our world, was for him to keep this fact a secret in exchange for lifelong friendship. Now, when Hime is called back to her world in order to marry a noble, Sato chases after them and ends up crashing the wedding ceremony. So now it's on this rather timid Sato's back to save the world from encroaching darkness by collecting a harem of troubled magical women so he can channel the power of the jealousy of all men into the ability to defeat Sauron. I mean the Abyss King. Look, the idea of a man chasing the woman he loves across multiple worlds is something I give a thumbs up to. It's ultimately a very masculine way of proving your love to someone. But other than the almost contrived backbone he grows out of nowhere just for plot's sake, he's an herbivore who blushes at every little romantic flag thrown at him. And that intriguing premise and refreshing take? Yeah, it only lasts about as long as it takes for you to start making observations that things are eerily similar to the greatest work of fiction of all time, Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. From the Abyss King effectively being a rip of Sauron, an ultimate evil whose body was completely destroyed but whose will or spirit survived as a phantom of evil that reincarnated after many years, to the Abyss Knights being Walmart brand ring wraiths. There's a few too many coincidences for this series to not be at least partially an anime parody of the Legendary Trilogy. And look, I'll be fair, there's plenty else that isn't Lord of the Rings, okay? There were just a lot of strange coincidences in my mind. And I mostly make this comparison for the joke, because the idea of a Lord of the Rings parody is so much more amusing to me than this was. Back to the anime itself, though. Characters feel like molds rather than people as if their whole development was just meant to fit a trope, and that they're not natural features of the story. They come with a lot of exposition that explains them, but nothing that ever really gives them a sense that their personalities were more than an afterthought compared to their bust size. Their designs aren't incredibly striking or cool, their powers are more or less mediocre, and their fun bags are the size of Mount Everest. The action in this series is just mid. It's so static and low energy that it hardly motivates me to even try to watch it. Hell, there were times where I had to check to see if my screen was frozen because nothing was moving. And at times the background is nothing but a clearly static image of unnatural poses of other characters. But that's about what you would expect from a series that seems to be mostly focused on the idea of harem brand fanservice. Except it doesn't even really do that in a way that you can enjoy. I mean, if you really wanted to go peek at some anime tits, there are plenty of other shows out there which you could go to. I am no prude. Fan service and ecchi doesn't bother me. But boobs does not a good anime make. If you want tits, go open up an incognito tab. Ecchi with no merit other than just fan service to me is more boring than doing taxes. As a result, Tales of Wedding Rings just doesn't have anything that draws my attention to it. It is an etchy series that doesn't really etchy, a romance series that isn't very romantic, a fantasy series devoid of any thrilling elements, and an animated project that is strikingly devoid of animation. This series is nothing but a 3 out of 10. A trope-riddled, boring mess of a series that exists to be nothing but an inferior, etchy story. I'm not going to sugarcoat this because there's only one way to say this. It just sucks. Which is sad because I can see in it the fact that it could have actually done something really cool with its premise. There was a shot. An opportunity. Something to be made out of this. And it biffed in just about every way possible. But that's about all out of me. If you liked this video, please consider hitting those magic like and subscribe buttons because those simple but free actions do really help me. And if you have thoughts of your own, please leave them down in the comments. I love to read what other people have to say about this kind of stuff. But thanks for your time, and I hope to see you in the next one. Later.